Okay, so this is the actual encoder board that does all the work. Um, it's based on open source hardware, uh, and that's just something I want to talk about very briefly uh, before we go forward with it. The open source hardware uh, that this is designed around um, is from the Arduino project. And there's a lot of discussion on the internet at the moment as to whether or not it's okay to use this uh, particular hardware for commercial use um, without any licenses or anything from Arduino. Uh, the official word from Arduino is it's open source so anyone can use it. Uh, but I just want to assure anybody who's uh, a little bit worried about buying one of these or using one of these from us um, is that it is not actually uh, an Arduino board anyway. Um, it uses the uh, Atmel uh, AT Mega 2560 chip, is at its heart, and that's the same as the Arduino. But the actual um, USB serial chip over here is a CH340. That is different to the, um, the chip specified with the uh, Arduino project. Uh, also, there is no Arduino software used in this at all. So if you take one of these and you plug it into your computer and you um, get an, uh, an Arduino um, IDE uh, and you plug it in, uh, it will not work. You cannot use this as an Arduino. It doesn't have uh, any of the same software on. So I just wanted to clear that up um, in case anybody was not sure um, about the open source issue or how it works. So... Um, Anyway, this is the encoder itself. Uh, it has obviously all these connections around the outside where it plugs onto our interface board. That's where all the connections are made to the outside world or to our organ. Um, it has two connectors on the end. This one is for power. Uh, so you can plug that into a power supply between 9 volts um, and about 15 volts. It'll be happy. Or you can power it from the USB interface. And the USB interface is what we're going to use to connect it to our computer. Uh, and to program the thing up. So we'll look at that next.